The honest truth about women making more money than men in Vietnam. Hello Tom, I know about your success, about your YouTube channel. I am sure that you are going to be expanding and growing more and more. Saludos, Tomas. I know many different couples where the woman, the wife or the girlfriend makes more money than the husband or the boyfriend. I know many cases like that. And uh, I also talk to a lot of men and uh, I also talk to a lot of women and uh, generally the sense is that you know the Vietnamese men you know even though they don't have balls see my other video uh, they are scared of women that make more money right they're terrified they feel insecure you know they have even less balls when their wife or their girlfriend make more money than them they feel really really insecure about it and I think it's really a silly notion because I'm from Canada men and women are equal you know um, if my girlfriend my wife makes more money than me I'm okay with that you know I'll wash the dishes I'll change the diaper for the baby I got no problem with that you know she can if she can make you know a hundred million dollars a year and uh, more money than me and I stay home and cook for her, I'm okay with that. Uh, I haven't found that person yet, so I have to do the hard work myself. I have to make the money myself, right? But I generally don't have a problem with that. But I wanna talk about Vietnam, all right? People are very sensitive to this. Like I think men are scared of women that are stronger, better than them, right? And I think women, even though on the surface they will say yeah it's okay my my uh, I, I make more money i take care of the family you know i I'm, I'm i'm more successful in my career than my husband when you go into deep conversation with her and trust me there's a lot of married women that talk to me when they talk about their uh, husband or boyfriend you know it's like you know my 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 you know my husband yeah he's lazy you know he doesn't work very hard, you know, he doesn't have any ambition, you know, because those things generally are not a turn on for women, right? Instinctively, no woman wants their men to be inferior. And that's the truth. That is the truth, right? We all want to be polite in society. You know, nobody wants to say I care about money more than uh, love, because if I say I care about money more than love, then, you know, I am being socially unacceptable. I'm doing something that the society deem as bad because I should not care about money more than love. That's wrong according to normal society, right? But instinctively, you know, women want a man that's stronger, better than them. That is human biology because, you know, we were cavemen once, we were monkeys once, right? There's a reason why men are bigger. Men have more muscles because we protect the women. So psychologically, we evolve uh, in the way that men are the protectors the, of the family and protector of women, and we have to be stronger and better. And when the woman doesn't feel that way, the woman doesn't respect the men, all right? And that is a fucking reality. I tell you things that you don't wanna hear. I tell you things that are the truth, but you don't want to accept. But I know that to be a fact because I talk to so many married women. And, and if they are more successful in their career, none of them are like really satisfied with their husband or their boyfriend. In fact, they're thinking about better options. They're thinking about, you know, like, I don't want to get married with him. You know, I'm not ready to get married. I'm not, you know, because they're not ready to accept somebody that's less than them, right? So, and that's human biology. You cannot say the woman or the girl is, you know, being, you know, money hungry or, you know, you cannot say the woman is like, she only cares about money, she doesn't care about love. Not true, because it's human instinct. Women want men that are better than them because they want to feel protected. They want to feel secure, right? 
And that's the reality. You have to accept it. And the message here for men is that you gotta be better than your woman. All right. So that means you gotta work harder. You gotta work longer hours. You have to stop playing video games. You have to stop watching TikTok. Watch less YouTube. You know, don't spend all your time on Facebook. Stop jacking off. You know, stop like at home, right? So like spend your time on your career. Make sure you're successful because there is nothing more attractive than success and money, right? When you're successful, let me tell you, that is the strongest aphrodisiac. You know, I hope my translation team understand what that is, aphrodisiac. You know, because that's what makes girls horny. When the girls see a very successful man, you know, their, their pussies get wet. You know, their panties get wet. And that's just human biology. You know, trust me, I know this. I understand this very, very, very well. All right. So my message here for the men is that you gotta, you know, grow some balls. You know, work harder. Don't spend all your time in a coffee shop. You know, build a fucking career. I have so many content in my channel that can help you do that, right? Be successful. And there's nothing more sexy than successful. It's not the muscles. It's muscles are temporary. Success is permanent. And for the girls, I totally understand, right? You don't want to say things that are socially unacceptable because it's not socially acceptable to say, I pick him because he's more successful and he has more money. Because that is something that the society deem as bad. But your biology, your psychology tells you to go with the more successful person. And that's just the way it is, right? And let me let you in on a secret, right? There's lots of very successful women with loser, boyfriend, husband, you know, and the, and the woman cheat because they're always looking for the, the successful person to protect them. And they will sleep with somebody more successful. And that's just the way it is. So the, the message here for men is that you have to focus on your success so that, you know, you keep your woman, your woman will respect you and you become very attractive to a lot of women. And that's what you really want, right? You have options, you have selection. And the, the, the boys and the, and I call them boys because I, I don't call them men, the boys that, you know, play video games all day, you know, watch Facebook all day, watch YouTube all day, and then they worry about their girlfriend leaving them, and those are fucking losers, man. If you are so good, you should never worry about that. If your girl is leaving you, that means you're shit. So, you know, time to wake up and time to fix your own problems. Stop playing video games. Stop like jacking off. Stop watching porn. Stop, you know, watching YouTube, except for thumping, you know, videos because they're good. Build on your success. Build your career. Build your business. Build something people are proud of. And you will be naturally sexy and no one will ever leave you. Take fucking action. And now you know how to be sexy. Don't be a fucktard.